What is going on guys, Evo here, and we are back with some more ARC on the map, Catalyst. I hope everyone is having a great day. So this episode, I have a bunch of things that I would actually like to do. One of them being going out and taming up a ton of homotheriums and getting a proper breeding pair going. Uh, I've absolutely loved using Feet Pick. It's been an incredible mount. And uh, I think it's time that we start getting proper breeding and mutating going for them and unlocking their full potential. I know they're basically just thylas, but uh, I think they actually look better, in my opinion. I don't know. I love the way they look. So uh, we're going to hopefully head out and be able to achieve that. I want at least 50 in the health stat and at least 50 in the melee stat. So we're going to have to get lucky. I know it's a tall order, but I think we can do it. I've got everything that we're going to need. I've got superior kibble, which is what they take. I've got a ton of trank darts and... Uh, I even have a net gun with me this time, so we're not playing around. We're doing it properly, we're getting it done, and there's a couple things to show off on the server. So I've been working on the house a little bit, changing up some things, and uh, I believe this looks better than before. All we did basically is put a corner sloped roof there instead of having the weird wall, because the front was looking a little ugly the more and more I looked at it. I think I'm happy with this, and uh, I've just been kind of messing around inside playing around with some stuff, adding some things, taking away some things. I'm not exactly sold just yet. I still am going to do some changes in here. And then upstairs, we actually have a full room now. I've got a little bedroom going. We got body pillow. We got our bed, our uh, loadout mannequin in there. And of course, the house moose. But yeah, we're slowly just going to be kind of playing around with this and doing some small changes here and there. And Syntax also set up a bunch of artifact pedestals, so it looks like he's just going to put all of the artifacts down the street, which I think is going to look nice. And uh, he's also made a Akatina farm, a cementing paste farm. So if we head in here, we've got a bunch of beehives, it looks like. We've got a bunch of snails, and some of them are under the foundations. What are you guys doing down there? Are you just stuck in there forever? I don't... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they're under there, uh, but it's fine. This thing is producing like absolutely crazy. We've got over 1500 cementing paste in there. Okay, so let's head out and see if we can find some high level homotheriums. You're at 54, that's not great. Ooh, there's another homotherium right here. Are you any good? You're 60, so no. We should probably be killing these if I'm being completely honest. It might uh, make things a little bit better. And I also think we're going to get on a uh, dire wolf because this thing does no damage. 113. That is a uh, little baby damage. So let's go ahead and just pick you up. If you pick, you're fast, but you're not strong. Hopefully we can rectify that very soon with breeding and mutations. Oh my goodness. A Spino has spawned here and it's a 168. Uh, I didn't even know they could spawn in this little pond, but apparently that's a thing, and it's a really good level. And we should probably tame it up. I feel like I'm going to miss an opportunity if we don't. It's definitely not a part of the plan, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. So let's go ahead and just start the tranking process. Apparently that dart just wasn't a thing. Didn't want to happen. Okay, it's coming for us. We're just going to tank it on the dire wolf. We should be fine. It does actually do quite decent damage, which is a little intimidating. Maybe this was a mistake. Oh, it can't hit us here? Oh, it can again? Okay, we were in like, oh yeah, right here. Let's not move from this spot. This is working perfectly. Oh, Ark, you're so amazing with your bugs and your glitches and your bad AI. This is the dream here, basically. No trap, no nothing. Just sitting back and relaxing. Shooting darts into this thing. Okay, it's already running, and it looks like it's also going into the ground. That was weird. That was very weird. Oh, it's very quick. Why are you so quick? You're extremely quick. Okay. Um, can we hit you? You just went through a mountain? Are you, like, the best Spino ever in existence? Maybe we should get on Feet Pick, though, because he's a bit faster, and this Spino is just hauling. Okay. Uh, we're gonna switch out. Let's do that. And we can throw wherever you are, feet pick. Throw you out. It's somewhere over in that direction. Hopefully we don't lose this thing here. Let's just head over there. 
Bam, jump our way to victory. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. It's just kind of sitting here. It's no longer running. And now it is running. But we can keep up this time. Yes, just get stuck in the wall. That's what I like to see. And maybe five more darts. That's my prediction. Oh, why are you... Why are you so quick? Oh, it's out. Okay, not five more darts. And we can go ahead and hopefully not aggro anything over here. I think we're fine. We're going to go ahead and throw a bit of narcotic on you. Throw some kibble on you. So today we are finding all the high level things. We got a 174 Bronto right there. And we also have a 174 Bracky. Um, I feel like we 100% need to tame those things up. But if we continue going down that route, then we're just never going to tame what we actually want to tame today. So I think I'm going to stay a little focused here. Maybe we can do those at a later date and hopefully they don't disappear like the last Bracky that we saw. That would be very sad. I would not like that. But they theoretically should be fine, assuming there's no Blood Moon that absolutely destroys them. There's also a 216 Rex here. Oh my goodness, what is today? What is happening? Okay, I feel like we need to tame you up, even though you're not exactly what we want. Because what we really want is we want to tame Paleo Rexes so we can breed them, and they have a chance to lay Evo Rex eggs. And then we can have an Evo Rex and use that incredible 300 and something armor saddle that we got for them. So this Rex is kind of useless to us, but it's also a 216. Okay, you know what? We're just going to knock it out. We're just going to do it. We got a Spino already. We might as well get a Tech Rex. Let's just uh, make it a thing. Uh, how's the Spino doing? The Spino's doing okay. The Torpor is starting to drop. So we're going to have to head back over there very soon and kind of top it off again. But that's fine. We're still going with this Tech Rex. Are you ever going to go out? I feel like we've shot like 50 darts at you and it's out okay beautiful there's a carno here which is a little scary let's just kill you kill the 174 packy there's also another rex here what level are you are you amazing you're a 180 what what game 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 what is happening can you talk to me can you explain to me why this is a thing why you're doing this to me all right i guess we're gonna tame this rex it's still not what i want but like it's a 180 we can't not tame it so let's start tranking you do the process all over again at this rate we're gonna have to go back to the base and make up some more trank darts because we're gonna be out taming all the creatures that we are not supposed to be taming right now mark is just doing that thing where you head out looking for a specific creature and you don't find any high levels of that creature. And then everything else is just an extremely high level for no reason out of the blue. Simply because you're not looking for them. Uh, let's kill this Deinonychus. What is it even doing right now? Are you okay? It's like slowly walking backwards. Did you break? Are you having a tough time in the world? In the Ark world? I'm really not sure. We're just going to keep shooting you in the face. So it got unbugged, which is kind of unfortunate. I was liking it moving really slow and not doing much, but we have it out. And uh, now we just have to run over to the Spino real quick. And then we'll come back and throw some kibble on these guys. And then we can finally head out and hopefully tame up some high level homotheriums. Okay, so the Spino has been taken care of and uh, this Rex just died. Wait, what? How did you die? Were you in the river? Is that why you just drowned? Are you serious? We just lost a 180 Rex? Um, okay. I was just gonna put kibble on you. I didn't think this was deep enough. I thought you would be okay. Apparently, I was completely wrong. That is truly unfortunate. Luckily, it was just a regular Rex, so it's not the biggest loss in the world. Because again, we're looking for those Paleo Rexes. Um, but we're still going to tame up this Tech Rex because it's the 216. And it probably has really good stats. So down the line, we may use it for boss fights or something. So let's go ahead and just put some kibble on you. Just like so. 
And you shouldn't actually take that many, so we're going to take a couple of you out. You got 10 on you. You actually only need 8, so let's just do that. And uh, we'll leave you to tame up. Okay, so we are back on the hunt for some homotheriums. Hopefully we can find some good level ones. A 24 is not a great start. And I went back to the base and grabbed some more trank darts, repaired the long neck rifle, grabbed my chainsaw because for some reason I didn't have that on me. And while I was doing all that, the Rex and Spino tamed up. The stats aren't great on them, if I'm being completely honest. We have 54 Sam, which is really the only good stat on this thing. 48 melee is decent, but uh, for a 216, it could be a lot better. And then the Spino is pretty mediocre. Nothing really to highlight there on the Spino, but it does look really cool. We can actually pop off real quick and I can show you guys what this thing really looks like. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. There's just a battle happening on my right, but we're going to ignore that. I'm a big fan of the Paleo Spino, so we're going to have to get some more of those at some point. I'm not actually sure where they spawn. Ooh, there appears to be a drop in front of us. We just have to go through some of these Rexes, which isn't going to be too difficult. They're uh, pretty low level. Can we just get up there and actually attack you? That would be ideal. And you're just running away now. That Parasaur is coming for me. Everything's upset. They're distracted. Okay, we're going to grab this drop. It's only a green, so I'm not expecting a lot. Wow, that Ascended Stone Hatchet, though. We're going to pick those up. We're going to throw the rest out. And I still haven't had any luck. There seems to be no homotheriums on the map. Everywhere that I usually find them seems to just be empty. Okay, so we just found another unicorn on the map. This one's a 114, so it's a little better than the last one. And like always, we got to tame it up. It is a unicorn. So if we can just get close to you when you're not on this hill, we're just going to walk up and do the do. And you're going to be our friend, right? Do that. Do that. We're at 47%. Clifford is just going to chill there for the moment. Okay, I'm a little nervous. We're currently floating in the water, which is not what we want. It's not ideal. Please leave the water. There we go. And it immediately goes back to the water. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's great. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. No, stop going back to the water. It's just water. Okay, it's not that impressive. Oh yeah, get stuck on this ledge. And we can tame you, beautiful. Holy moly, that was so stressful. We got a 170 unicorn now. That's cool. Um, very random, very strange to find a unicorn right here. But we did it. And um, now I guess we're going back on the hunt. Ooh, I spotted another drop. Are you going to be good? You're blue. So you're definitely going to be better than the last one. And an Ascendant Pike blueprint. I'm not sure if that's better than what we have. So we'll grab that. An Ascendant Whip. That seems pretty good. We'll take that. Some Ascendant Hazard Suit Gloves. Okay. And Mastercraft Desert Goggles. Uh, we have just spotted something invisible. What is this below me? What are you? Are you going to eat my face? It seems like you want to. You're only a level 30. I have no idea what this thing is. Can you just stay still for a moment so we can actually see your name? Can we, can we do that? You're a, a Dryptosaurus? Dryptosaurus? I feel like I'm absolutely butchering that. Uh, but it looks amazing. Sadly, it's a terrible level. So we're going to try and kill it. And maybe we'll get something cool from it. Are you going to give us amazing goodies? No, it seems like we just destroyed your face and that was it. It does have an inventory. And nothing exciting in there. Okay. Well, um, that was strange. That was very strange. I think Syntax actually tamed up one of those. I did not know they spawned here. I thought he went on like a grand adventure for one. So I guess we're going to have to keep our eyes open when we come into this little hillside. Maybe we can spot another and get a high level at some point. But I'm not going to hold my breath. I think they're a pretty rare spawn. Okay, so we've stumbled across a Paleo Arc Tyrannosaurus, a 162. That is something I'd actually like to tame up. 
But I feel like if we do that, then we're kind of shifting gears again. We're getting distracted. There's just been so many distractions. But we've also had no luck with the homotheriums. So I'm going to do once more around this entire forest biome. And if we don't see a single homotherium, I think we're just going to move on to taming rexes and spinos and big game creatures. Because I feel like the game is trying to pull me in that direction. We've also stumbled upon a 180 Bronto. T-Rexes and Brontos. That seems to be the, uh, the name of the game today. Okay, so we've done a full circle and uh, I haven't found a single one. So we're definitely switching gears. We're going to move on to T-Rexes as they seem to be plentiful today. All the big creatures have all the high levels. And we're going to start with this 162 Paleo Rex and then... I think we're going to head maybe in that direction somewhere over there because I believe there's a ton of wreck spawns in that kind of area past the white cliffs to the left. So we're going to head over there and check that out as soon as we get this guy down. He seems to be struggling a little bit. That's okay. You just sit there. You struggle. You do your thing. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and start tranking you. Hopefully you don't go out in the river and... Uh, we don't get you killed because I would actually like to tame you. I don't want you to die. We probably could go back to the base and get some proper trap stuff for the T-Rexes. We may do that. We're just going to go ahead and throw some kibble on you. Now that you're out and safe, that Diplo over there is terrifying. I don't like that. And we're just going to throw you on there. And you're just going to tame up. Okay, so I've got the dino gates here, and I think we just need to craft up some large bear traps. So let's go to the smithy, and it should be right there. Perfect. We'll just do maybe six of those. That'll give us plenty, just in case we screw up at some point. Okay, so we found a 168 Paleo Arc Rex. Uh, that was very lucky. It was just kind of in this little divot here. We were about to run right past him when I saw his little tail. It's very colorful, and uh, I guess we're just going to go ahead and set up a trap and do the do, bring them over, and hopefully we can get this done with ease. We'll just maybe do the trap in this direction. Let's just clear the area. I think this is going to work. I don't think we're going to have any trouble because it's a Paleo Rex. It shouldn't be affected by the better PvE mod. So if we just do something like this... Nice and easy. If we could not do weird snap points, that would be great. We're going to do you. Just like that. And then we'll bring you in like so. And that's a little bit of a bigger gap than I want. But it should be fine. Place the trap there. And I guess we're just going to kill this Diplo. And then hopefully get this thing to aggro towards us. Maybe we can do that. Here you go, little T-Rex. We're going to help you out. By little, I mean you're gigantic. You're not little at all. Are you going to be able to eat the body? Or are we going to have to come over there and eat the body? Okay, there you go, sir. See how easy that was to eat that body? Oh, there's a parasaur here. Is that going to be a problem for us? I hope not. We're just going to do that. And you're just going to completely sidestep the trap and go after this parasaur. Come on. Okay, can we get you back? No, there's a Packy here. Okay. We've killed that. Oh, now there's a Trike. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? It's just going to go from one creature to the next creature to the next creature. Oh, there's a, a pack of Trikes here. We can't let that happen. This is a 168. Uh, let's just deal with you. Where did all these Trikes come from? They're just pouring out of nowhere. Okay. Are you... Do you care about me? No, there's a turtle. T-Rex, please. This is supposed to be just an easy, breezy tame. Stop doing this. Okay. No. You're upset with me. You don't like me. There we go. Okay. We're gonna let you nibble on us all the way back to the trap. No, the fairy. Why are you attacking a fairy? Oh, this is a high level fairy. Is this a 180 fairy? Are we about to kill? No, it's a 120. Okay. I don't feel bad. We checked the levels. 
We made progress. We learned. Maybe we're just going to start tranking this thing because the trap clearly is not going to be a thing. He does not seem to care about us. Oh, there's a MOA. Oh, wow. You're level 60, though. You're not very good. So we're just going to leave you. Oh, the MOA is upset with the Rex? Really? MOA? Have you seen how big the Rex is? And you're just going to go in there and attack it and do what you think is best? That was a big mistake. Okay, the Rex is on us. Finally, it's upset. We're just going to slowly make our way back to the base. Yeah, you just keep biting us. You just do the nibbling that you're doing. And hopefully we can make it back before dying. Oh, there's a Paraceratherium to our left. Please don't get distracted by that. And there's a Parasaur behind the trap. But I think we're going to be fine here. No, why? 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 Okay, he's after us once again. This is the last chance you get, Rex. We're just going straight into here. I swear. Okay, beautiful. And, oh, he does destroy. Oh, wait. What did we just get stunned by? Wait a minute. What just happened? Okay, hopefully that's good. Um, I don't know where our wolf is. What? What has just happened? Where's our wolf? Oh, he's out. He's out. Okay. Um, we got to go for a run. Okay, so he can destroy. I thought the paleo T-Rexes were not going to be able to destroy metal. Apparently, I'm wrong. So we went through all of that just to discover that the trap doesn't even work. Did our wolf die? I don't think it did. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. We're gonna we're gonna make our way over to the wolf. It's on like passive flea for some reason. Uh we're gonna go ahead and pick him up as quickly as we can. Why are you on passive flea? Why does Ark bug like that and cause so many problems? Okay. Neutral. We're just gonna do passive. We're gonna pick you up. And we're gonna shoot you in the face. Thank you. Holy moly, this has been a roller coaster just trying to get this Rex. 100%. That was uh that was a horrible decision to try and trap this thing when we could have just done this from the get-go. Uh now this thing is kind of bloody, which is not great. That's not ideal. But we should still be able to get it down. This has kind of been a bungle by me and I feel a little silly. So if we could just get you down and get you tamed up, that would make up for it. And I would appreciate if you let us do that. Oh, he's out. Okay. So we've done it. Beautiful. We're just going to go ahead and eat some food. And then we can maybe run up to you. Hang on. We're going to be a little careful here. There's a lot of crap in the area. And I don't want to go up and then all of a sudden get it hit. I think we're fine. We seem okay. So we're going to do this and you're just going to need nine actually, but we're going to put 10 on you just in case. And you're already eating. Okay. That's kind of amazing. How much HP do you have? You have 113. Holy moly. That was close. Wait, what the heck is in front of me? What is that? What are you? You're a shimmer unicorn. Oh, we need this. What in the world? We 100% need this. Okay, so we need to kill this raptor without attacking the horse. Okay, that was a mistake. We kill you. We can. Is the horse going to woo saw? This thing looks so cool. I absolutely love it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. Okay. It doesn't seem to be aggroed anymore. We're just going to throw this kibble on. It's fine. Um, and then we're just going to hopefully tame this like we normally would. An Equus, right? It's not going to be different or anything. I love the rainbows. Yeah, we need it off the rocks. Is it stuck on the rocks? What is happening? I'm afraid to get too close. I don't want to spook this thing. Okay, is this our opportunity on flat ground? Here we go. We're doing it. We're going up. We're doing it. Ride. Boom. 68%. 
Okay. This thing looks so freaking cool. I gotta focus though. Can't get distracted by the shiny rainbows. We just gotta get it done. Okay, do you want to feed soon? There's a ravine next to me, which I'm a little afraid of. Please don't go over there. Go to your left. Go to your left. Okay, 99%. We just need one feed. I just need you to stay to your right now. Don't go to your left. No. Give me a heart attack. Please stay up here. It's going to want to feed soon. Yes. Holy moly. We got a shimmer unicorn. This has to be like a super rare spawn. There's no way it's not. Look how like rainbowy and colorful we are. This thing is so cool. Okay, we're going to put it away for the moment. Actually, before we put it away, I just want to kind of get a better look at it if we can. Maybe if we gamma up, maybe that's going to be the way. Actually, you know what? Let's gamma back down and we're going to use these glow sticks. These are going to be, oh my goodness. Look at its horn. It's like a rainbow horn and it's pink and white. What in the world? That is so freaking cool. So freaking cool. Does it do anything special? No, it seems to just be a normal Equus. I'm very happy. Extremely happy about this thing. We're going to keep it safe for now. We're going to gamma back up so we can actually see what the heck is going on at night. And we're going to continue the search for the Rexes. Yeah, I think I see another Rex in front of me. Are you going to be great? You're a 180 Paleo Arc Rex. There's also a Tech Rex over there, but it's less great. Okay, so we need to kill these Smilodons as fast as we can. Get you off my friend. Actually, you know what? He's just going to kill you. Hopefully, he's just going to do the corpse dance and we can just trank you with ease. Is that going to be how this is going to go? No, it's not. You're going to chase us. Okay. That's fine. You chase us. I'm not afraid. We can just do the backup and shoot. And just continue doing that. Get these tight manure off of us. Okay, it went out on the mountainside. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, is there anything in the area that's just going to come out of nowhere and ruin everything? No, we seem okay. We jump up here. How did you get up here, Rex? Are you magical? I guess we're going to grapple up. So let's just do something like that. Head up here. Throw some kibble in you. Okay, we got a bunch of Rexes over here. Are any of you Paleo? You are a Paleo, but you're bad. This Tech Rex is bad. And that's also a Paleo, but it's not great. Okay, we're just going to kill all three of these Rexes. Okay, so we found another Paleo Rex. It's a 168. But unfortunately, it's a male. And currently, we have one male. Two males, three males. So I'm unsure whether we should actually tame this thing up, but we could get some really good stats with it. So we might as well. And we kind of just have to pray that we find a female at some point. All right, this thing's finally running, which means it's almost out. That's very exciting. Are you upset with me? Oh no, you're just out. You're just knocked out in the middle of your roar. Throw some kibble on you. There we go, you're golden. And uh, I guess we're just going to continue our search. Hopefully we can find even more Rexes and potentially some females. Oh, we found another one of those invisible things. And it's a 168 male. Um, okay, well, we need to tame that as well. What What is happening? What is today? Okay, so I looked up how to tame one of these so we don't screw it up. And it's from the mod Animals of Atlas. And I think we're just going to be able to do it. It's a knockout tame, and then it's superior kibble. So I guess we're just going to start shooting it. I don't know how hard this is going to hit. Are you going to be, like, super aggressive and destroy us? Oh. Oh, what what has it done to us? What is happening? Disoriented? Okay. I don't like that. So it's kind of like the Uteranus Fear Roar. That's, uh, that's not great. Definitely not great. Is it going to do it again? No. It doesn't do a super amount of damage. 
Can you just calm down for five minutes? Holy moly, this thing is so angry. Let's reload the long neck rifle here. How much torpor do you have? It seems like quite a bit. And are you going to run once you get to high torpor? That is the real question. I'm assuming you're going to. Oh, it's running. Okay, it's very quick. Try and catch up to it here. Do the spam jump. And it fell down a little ravine. Hopefully it's not super dangerous down there. I don't know what's down there. Okay, we're going. We're just going to do it. And it's right here still. Okay, I thought I lost it for a moment. There we go. It's out. Holy moly. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a bunch of this kibble on here. I don't know how much it's going to take or if it's torpor is going to drop super quickly. But we're going to stay by it for just a moment. We can throw it on the taming tracker, though. We've got two out of the four Rexes tamed up so far. That's not bad. Ooh, we got a loot drop right here. A little treasure. Okay. Are you going to be any good? An Ascendant Megatherium Saddle Blueprint. That's actually incredible. Journeyman Longneck. That's garbage. And an Apprentice Dire Bear Saddle Blueprint. We'll take that because I'm not sure we have a better one. Throw out that parachute. Okay, so we are back at the base here, and I've got all of the creatures in my inventory. We went and picked up all of the Rexes and the Dryptosaurus. I haven't actually looked at their stats yet, though, so let's see what we got going on. We got 39 HP, 41 Stam, 42 Oxygen, 34 Food, 33 Weight, and 25 Melee. So this was the 162 Rex. We got 37 Health. 39 stam, 33 oxygen, 38 food, 29 weight, and 37 melee. Nothing really to brag about there. Pretty bad, to be honest. And this was a 168. We got 34 health. Wow, that's really bad. 14 stam. Wait, what? Why is that so low? That is extremely low stam. That's very strange. Uh, 37 oxygen. 36 food, 40 weight, and 47 melee. Okay. Those last two stats, I'm really happy about. I'm a big fan of that 47 melee, especially. And the next one was also a 168. Are your stats any better? We've got 44 stam, and everything else is pretty garbage. So we got good melee, good stam, and good weight on this guy. This guy is pretty... Matt as well, weight at 43, stab at 44. So these guys have the same stab. So overall, we can start making a decent Rex here. Nothing incredible just yet. But I'm still very happy with those stats. Definitely a good starting point. Let's actually just throw out every single creature we got today. It's been absolutely crazy. Holy moly, we got so many creatures. We actually got five T-Rexes, a Spino, uh, Dryptosaurus, which I want to throw a saddle on before we end this episode and kind of check it out because it looks very interesting. And then we got two unicorns today, one of them being a shimmer unicorn, and it looks absolutely crazy. I don't even understand why this is a thing, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's honestly overwhelming thinking about how much we tamed up today. Let's go ahead and make one of these saddles for our new friend. I believe this is the one we need. So let's go ahead and just craft one of you. Okay, so what exactly can this thing do? So we got our left click, which is like a bite. Got a couple different bite animations. That's pretty cool. And then we have our right click, which we do a roar, a fear roar. Then our C. Which makes us go invisible. Yes, I love that. Okay. We could sneak up on Jim, Axeman, and Syntax. You know, scare them a little bit. And uh, does it do anything else? Do we have another button? No, it doesn't seem like it does anything else. That's okay. I bet you these things would look incredible with color mutations. Holy, I'm just thinking of the possibilities in my mind. And uh, that may be something that we do in the future. I'm kind of wondering, does Syntax have a male or female? Are we able to check that if we just sneak into his stuff real quick? So Syntax actually has a female, which is super exciting. It means we can breed these guys. 
That should be a ton of fun. 100% gonna be doing that. And Jim also has a female Paleo Rex, because I think he has a pair. So we may see if that has good health, and then just start combining some stats here. Get maybe some Evolved Rexes going soon. But you know what, guys? I think that's actually gonna be it for this episode. So remember to smash that like button, and remember to subscribe if you guys have not already, because it seriously helps me out. It really does. And if you guys have any names for the Shimmer Unicorn, please let me know in the comments below. We need, like, the most amazing name ever. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what you guys come up with. And I don't think we're going to name any of these other creatures just yet. Because I want to do some breeding with you. And we got to figure out what's going on with the Rexes and the Spino. But we're just going to leave everything else nameless for now. And I know it didn't achieve what I wanted to today when it comes to the Homotheriums. There just really wasn't any on the map. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and tame up any Homotheriums that I see in the future. And hopefully we can get a good breeding pair soon. And uh, yeah, have a good one. See ya.